Understanding symbols and rules. Here we have a number sentence which involves a square, a triangle, and you can see the number four. So what is the value of square if the triangle has the value of nine? Well then, hopefully you could recognize that the value of square, if the triangle has a value of nine, would end up being nine plus four, which equals 13. So we could then actually write, if we move this out of the way, in maths, therefore, can it's actually referred to by three little dots. So therefore, we could say square is equal to the value of 13. You can often have, often have number sentences involving a specific rule. For example here, triangle equals square plus four and then you're having to input them into a table. So you can see here, triangle's been left blank, then you've got square, which is here, and you've got the different values for square here. So if the rule is square plus four, then determines what triangle is. Okay, so if I've got square here plus four, well, if I'm adding four, it will be ending up as five. So therefore, triangle equals five. Again here, we've got three plus Four is going to be equal to 7. 5 plus 4 is going to be equal to 9. So you can sort of see here, it has almost a bit of a pattern where it goes up 5, 7, 9. Okay, it's really important as well to read carefully that you value that. I don't just all of a sudden go 5, 7, 9, 11, because that won't be right. So I need to make sure I'm looking closely, because here I can see I've got 11. Okay, so square has been given the value of 11. So 11 plus 4 is actually 15. Here we need to find the value of triangle. I can have a look up here again at what the rule is. Triangle is equal to square times 4. So let's have a go. So we've got square, uh, which is 2 times 4, be 8. Here we have 3 times 4, which would be 12. Here we have 4 times 4, which is 16. We have a larger value, 50 times 4, which ends up being 200. Here we have a table and a number sentence involving uh, something a bit tricky. We're looking at a fraction. So we can sort of see here triangle, the value of triangle is equal to circle take away a quarter. So if you have a look here, the first one, we've got circle represented as 4. 4 take away a quarter will end up being 3 oops, three and three quarters, five take away a quarter, so five take away a quarter will end up being four and three quarters. We get next one we have is six take away a quarter, end up being five and three quarters. Then you can see we have six take away a quarter, which end up being six six and three quarters. You can see we have a pattern there, can't we, in our table. Three and three quarters, four and three quarters, five and three quarters, six and three quarters. So in some number sentences, you need to find the value of certain symbols to make number sentences true. So let's have a look here. We've got triangle plus eight equals 12. Okay, so in other words, there's a mystery number plus eight, which equals 12. Now hopefully we can think, well, four plus it will give me 12. And you can see here again, therefore, three dots, therefore triangle is equal to the value of four. Here we've got eight times a pentagon. Okay, five-sided figure. So eight times something equals 48. So if we're thinking here, well, knowing our times tables, well, I know eight times six equals 48. And then three dots again, therefore, pentagon is the value of six. Here we have 20 take away triangle equals 19 and three quarters. So we could be thinking then uh, 20 take away was well, going to be a quarter. So take away a quarter will leave me just with 19 and three quarters. Here's our three dots. Therefore, triangle, the value of triangle is equal to one quarter.